the usage of artificial intelligence for side hustles and money-making tactics has increased in recent weeks. Midjourney was one of the most important tools. However, it recently switched to a subscription plan and is no longer available to the general public. As a consequence, people are hunting for new artificial intelligence that may provide comparable outcomes. And after searching far and wide for the same item, I believe I've discovered precisely what we're looking for. Leonardo.ai is now available. This AE has just been improved and can compete with tools like a Midjourney. And the greatest thing is that you don't need a plan to use your photographs professionally. Why a learning curve from Midjourney? But if you're on a budget and just getting started, this is well worth a look. In this video, I'll go through the Leonardo features that encouraged me to utilize it instead of Midjourney. Then I'll discuss different business concepts that may employ this aid to generate passive revenue. First, I'll demonstrate how to get access to Leonardo. To begin, go to their website and then, in the upper right corner, click on Get Early Access. After entering your email address, you will be led to a thank you page where you will be led to a thank you page where you will be invited to join their Discord server. You no longer need to have a Discord account. Unlike in the mid-journey, Leonardo's generation occurs on the web. Therefore, you may skip this stage by clicking the second link in the description. To be allowed for the whitelist, you must complete this form. However, it seems that the whitelisting procedure is now malfunctioning, and you may use the app without getting whitelisted. To do so, return to their main website and then, on the top right, click on Launch App. Then, since I am whitelisted, you will be sent to the Leonardo site, or, as I like to call it, the dashboard. You'll be able to check over previous Leonardo works here. All of them are of quite good quality, and the most of them are much superior than what is available via midstream. What I appreciate most about this is that it allows me to view the prompt as well as all of the options that we utilize to make this precise picture. You may also travel through several phases or revisions of the artwork. Some even provide them without a backdrop, allowing you to make photographs without having to bother about removing the background afterwards. My favorite thing about Leonardo is that you may use their photographs professionally for free if you go to their Discord server and go to their Frequently Asked Questions channel. This is a major changer, particularly when compared to Midjourney, which needs a $10 monthly membership to acquire access. You have commercial rights to the photographs you create. This token-based method is used by several other inferior picture generation systems, including Leonardo. This originally confused me but then I understood that you got 150 tokens that reset every 24 hours. In other words, you get 150 photos every 24 hours, which is more than plenty. Furthermore, if you're a game developer in need of textures, Leonardo, unlike Midjourney, offers a built-in component exclusively for that purpose. You may upload a .bg file and produce a texture using a prompt by going to the texture generating section. But that's a topic for another video. Let's have a look at the features for creating the picture itself. Go to the AI creation tool. There are plenty on this page. Consider the following. As a result, we'll take things slowly. To begin, this area here is where you may enter your prompt. The more specific the request, the more accurate the outcome. On the left side, you'll find a few fascinating alternatives, some of which aren't included in Midjourney's free plan. You may specify how many photos you wish to produce with each prompt. The T default value is 4, which I feel is the appropriate quantity for most uses. The picture dimensions are next. It's worth noting that Leonardo was trained on the 1024 by 1024 dimension, so you'll get better results if you use it. Then there's the guidance scale. This is essentially how heavily your prompt is weighted or how constrained Leonardo will be while utilizing your prompt. A level of one allows Leonardo to be really creative and create a picture that is not precisely what your prompt is. Your prompt will be stricter at a higher level. I'd go with anything close to seven. However, you may experiment with them to see which one best matches your requirements. Following that, you have the choice of tile. This is very handy for generating repeating patterns, backdrops, or other elements. This is useful for a variety of purposes and may assist you with various business concepts. That will be covered later. Finally, there are two choices, Image 2, Picture, and Image Prompt. These are rather simple. The first choice, 
image to image will create a new image from a picture you submit in the next option. Leonardo will suffice. It is preferable to determine which question might result in a comparable picture to the one you've already uploaded. These features are really useful and they have persuaded me that this is a more effective and much superior option to mid -journey. Now, let's put these characteristics into action by discussing a business strategy that might possibly earn you some passive money online. Etsy will be used for all of these techniques. Etsy is a retail platform where users may sell both digital and real goods. It's quite simple to set up. If you think this tutorial would be helpful, Watch the previous videos on the channel where I show you how to sell your products on Etsy. Let's figure out how to achieve it. First, you must create a, using Leonardo, create a pattern using tiling. For example, blue ocean waves spilling over the seat, antique oil, painting, or digital art. I'll use the tiling option for this to obtain the recurring tiling pattern. We get these wonderful designs from that question. Now we'll scale it up and see what we can do with it to put on Etsy. First, go to Printy. Printy is a print-on-demand website that will print your digital picture on things that you may sell. What's amazing about this is that they will even package and send the goods to your consumer, requiring you to do very little labor. Let's see what we can do with this. I'll experiment with a cushion. Let's start by clicking on this product and then design it. Upload your Leonardo picture and then select Create Pattern. This will continue indefinitely. Make a copy of our picture. When you're through with that, put it in your product anywhere you like and then pick Preview. You may accomplish this with a variety of things, including shower curtains, shoes, shorts, and many more. Because you're merely designing designs and posting them to Etsy, Printy handles the rest. This is one of the simplest side hustles to begin in 2023. Another option is to offer watercolor cartoon dogs in the style of these posters, which include their breed information. This one necessitates the use of a, it takes a little more time and requires some design abilities, but it is well worth the effort. This business has generated nearly 20,000 euros from just 5,000 sales alone, and these things are presently on sale. First, make a list of the dog breeds you intend to utilize. I propose beginning with batches of 10 dog breeds to get started, and then gradually increasing the number of dog breeds in each listing after you have these 10 dog breed names. Begin designing designs with Leonardo to conserve your tokens. Instead of four photos, create two at a time. I use 1024 by 1024 pixels for the settings and a bespoke model. You may get it by clicking this button. Then choose Custom Model Platform Models and scroll down until you find it. Animal characters that are adorable. Then, I used to prompt sticker. Pleasant, bright poppy, golden retriever, KY contour, vector, white backdrop sticker, and so on. It gives it the appearance of a sticker and makes it easy to cut off the backdrop. Then the final three do exactly the same thing. In a moment, I'll show you how to remove the backdrop from these created photos using a built-in Leonardo function. After choosing Produce, the service will take around 20 seconds to generate these photos. Iron is as complete as Midjourney, but considerably speedier. After this period, I have some pretty wonderful photographs that I may utilize for my design. To remove the backdrop, click on your picture and then on this button. Now, I need to make nine more so that we can fill a whole Google Doc with them. If you want to make it easy to create these listings, I offer a free template in my description down below. Simply change the photos in the Google Doc with your own and then replace the text with your own. Reads, this will help you get started and feel your way around creating your own listing. You may then sell them on Etsy and perhaps earn some passive money like the others who have previously done so. If you found this video useful and intend to use Leonardo instead of Midjourney, let me know in the comments section. Like and subscribe on my channel so that the following publications become even more interesting. Also look at the channel and other methods of earning online.